want to launch a business or launch a new product idea, how should you start? The most common approach is to think of a great idea, think that you have the best idea, and run with it and see what happens. But 98% of startups and product launches fail. In my last startup, I spent six months working on my product and then launched it only to find out people did not want to use it. We're here to help you avoid the same mistakes. The Javelin Board is a tool to help you turn your ideas into experiments. It was developed based on our training of over 50,000 entrepreneurs and innovation executives around the world. It is our improved version of the Validation Board. It's 10 times easier to use and 10 times easier to get started with. So first, we begin by forming a hypothesis. Every experiment starts by forming a hypothesis. A hypothesis is warding your idea in a way that can be easily tested. As entrepreneurs, our ideas are often so huge that it's really hard for us to really break it down and focus on what to test first. By turning it into a hypothesis, you're constraining the idea so you can focus and learn faster. With the Javelin Board, we've broken down a hypothesis into three types, the customer, the problem, and the solution. Let's take a look at how we can form our first hypothesis. On the left side, we see the brainstorm area, where you and your team can list different possible hypotheses to test. On the right side is the execution area, where your experiment will form. Start on the top left by listing out different customer segments. Have each of your team members write down one customer. Give yourselves five minutes to do this. Then select one customer segment to focus the test on and move it to the right. Next, move on to brainstorming the problem. Again, each of your team member writes down one problem. After each of your team members have written down a problem, you can select the problem you want to focus on and then move it to the right. Awesome, you have just constructed your customer and problem hypothesis. If at any point you or your team member needs help constructing a hypothesis, you can refer to the bottom left of the Javelin board, where we have provided you with tips as to how to construct hypothesis and other parts of your experiment. Now, you see that the solution box is grayed out. This is for a reason. We don't want you to focus on the solution just yet. What's really important here to focus on is understanding the customer and the problem and trying to validate that. This limits the number of variables that we have to account for when we're just starting out. The reason we start at the customer level and not the solution level is because every customer has a problem, every problem has a solution, but not every solution has a problem and not every problem has a customer. Next, brainstorm a list of assumptions that need to be tested. Every hypothesis has a set of assumptions. Assumptions are what you believe to be true in order for the hypothesis to be true. You can think of assumptions as the action, behavior, and mentality that the customer has to exhibit in order for the hypothesis to hold true. Each person on your team should brainstorm five assumptions. This allows you guys to surface the riskiest parts of the business. Allow 10 minutes for this part. After you have a bunch of assumptions, discuss them and pick the riskiest assumption that you want to test. The riskiest assumption is the one that is core to viability of the business and most unknown, meaning that you have least amount of data around it and that you're most uncertain about it. By testing the riskiest assumption first, you're reducing the time it takes to get data on the most important part of the business and increase the speed of which you progress. If the riskiest assumption doesn't hold, then the whole hypothesis is false. We're almost there. We have most of the experiment here. Now we just have to decide how do we test it and how do we know when we're successful. We have three methods to test this interview, pre-sell, and concierge. Interview, whereas you get out, get in front of customers, and get answers. Pre-sell is where you sell something before actually having anything to sell. Concierge is where you manually deliver the service for your customer. The method you choose is based on the amount of data that you already have. The less data, the more exploratory it needs to be. Face-to-face -face interviews are the best method for exploratory. Now, no experiment is complete without the success criteria. How do we know when we're successful? The success criteria is the minimum amount of validation that you need in order to invest more resources, time, and effort into proceeding on the project. You can set the success criteria as a fraction. So out of this many people that I talk to, I need this many to exhibit a certain action, behavior, and mentality. Congratulations, you just turned your idea into your first experiment. Now get out of the building and collect that data
Once you come back, analyze your data. Make a decision. Do you persevere or do you pivot? This decision is based on the learning that you collected. Now, you might come back with a lot of different learnings around a lot of different aspects of your idea, but it's really important to just focus on the key insight, the key learning that drives you to designing your next experiment. Pivot if your results did not meet your success criteria. Persevere if your results met or exceeded your success criteria. When you pivot, you're either changing one or both aspects of your hypothesis. So if you worked on a customer problem hypothesis, then you can change either the customer or the problem, or both the customer and problem, based on the insights and the learning that you've gathered. If you persevere, then you take on more risk. So go back to the brainstorm area, brainstorm a few more risky assumptions, select that, and then move it onto the right. So that's the basics of the Javelin board. Let us know how you do. You can watch other case studies for inspiration on our website at javelin.com. If you have a case study to share, feel free to submit it on our website as well. <music>